I'm your idol, the highest title, numero uno. I'm not a Puerto Rican, but I'm speaking so that you know. And understand I got You know, my goal has always been try to be the funniest person at the show. Try to be the best person that you can be. Hit the stage and take absolutely no prisons for the 30 minutes or the hour uh, time frame that you're on stage. Command the stage in front of four, four five, six thousand. Control them. Make them double over. So you fuck around and make reservations for June 2nd. This is going to come on her period June 2nd at 12.30. You on a plane riding with it. Y'all ride, y'all halfway across the Atlantic. Mm, my stomach hurt. <laughs> Your dumb ass got no bathroom or something. <laughs> she get up, not only do she take a suitcase, she take a whole pack of suitcases. <laughs> she in the bathroom 45, 50 minutes. <laughs> you know, the little bathroom ain't with this big, they try to tell you don't flush it up and down the toilet. You know, she can't flush that big ass pad down the toilet. <laughs> she gotta tear that motherfucker up in pieces and let that motherfucker. So she in there tearing up the cortex. You sitting there making your plans. I'm gonna beat this pussy up in Jamaica. Beat that. I'm gonna get sand all up there. Put that ass. Comedy is a form of uh, expression, and I think even cussing is an art. Some guys can't cuss. Some guys cussing it, you know, makes you cringe. You know, every word. Some guys can do a whole hour, hour and a half set on stage and probably cuss more than anybody, but you don't remember it. You remember the story. You remember the funny parts. You can't remember him cussing. Fuck around and go on a trip with Shanika. <laughs> Shanika don't want some no dick. At least no dick she ever know about. <laughs> you got to negotiate. You say that, look, look, you, look, I ain't know you was on no motherfucking period. Oh, she gonna try to lie first. I ain't know either. Yes, you did, bitch. You 37 years old. You been bleeding for motherfucking 20 years. You should have that shit tied to a motherfucking tee by that. Years and years, man. Years and years. Black women have had trouble. They get to the trouble. Old ass Earl never get this bitch. Get the married to Thelma for 37 years. They still arguing about that shit. Thelma, you need to, you need to go. You need to, you need to, you need to go. Go, 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 go. You got to, you got to start sucking some dick around here, Thelma. Earl, I tell you, I don't suck no dick. I, when I met you, your little ragged ass mama car told you I ain't suck no dick. You better die sucking something. Somebody, somebody out there, this motherfucker don't suck something. This one, this, this one, this one, the argument changed. But get your mama to suck your dick. You know, Robin Harris showed me how to make people double over. I knew how to make people laugh, you know, and I went to do shows with him. He showed me how to make people double over, you know, recapture their breath, you know, pause, hiss. You know, roll out, stand up, and walk out, because it can't take it no more. And uh, help me take the comedy, my comedy, to a different level. And white people gonna write a letter on you. You don't want to write a letter, man. You know? They don't want no letter. They don't want no motherfucking letter. White people write a letter on you. You know, they ain't gonna argue with you. They gonna write a letter. You ain't even gonna know about them for four or five years, you know? You go up for a promotion. That thing you know it says here, you were talking in the fucking comedy club. <laughs> How you do that? Because Tom Johnson has been at 7575 wrote an arrow letter with no arrows. Everybody trying to kill you. Everybody trying to kill you. Little, little motherfucker came in here the other day with a little turban on his head. Everybody got nervous. I said, leave him alone. He all right? He not gonna blow this motherfucker up. He ain't gonna leave no pain. Ain't no, ain't one no white people in here. See, they do shit to get the news. You can't blow up no group of niggas to get the news. BT when you cover that shit. I'm the only cat that ever headlined over all the kings of comedy, from DL to Bernie to Steve Harvey to uh, Earthquake. Any any guy you can name. I've had lined over them during the heyday. Hey, you ain't got no money. 
Ain't got no doctor, nothing. Man, you're a free in there, girl. Cause they got that doctor, that means they married. Yeah, but she ain't got no doctor. I know that ain't that right, ain't that right. I know about that doctor. You ain't got no doctor. Yeah, you don't know nothing about no black man, do you? They ain't teach all that shit in here. Black man got that magic carpet ride. We'll get with you, but y'all fools, man. Too motherfucking hot. That shit fucking bowels up. Married to you, I'll be shitting every motherfucking 20 minutes. I ain't got time to fuck her. I'm not coming for her. Shitting all that way I go. Got my skin to leave the house. I'm growling and rumbling and shit. God damn. Maybe I should have stayed with that young girl to like french fries. I was always a fan of comedy. Uh, my mother took me to a Richard Pryor uh, concert at the Kennedy Center when I was about 13. Uh, and people say, you know, such a young kid, but I had already known all the words to all of Richard Pryor's albums. You want a good bet? You can put your money on a nigga ain't no turd. Come on, line black folk. Come on, line black folk. A, a nigga blow up himself? be a bad motherfucker for you to get somebody to take a bomb somewhere and stay with the bomb. Don't, don't leave the bomb. No, 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 I'm sorry. You can't leave the bomb. You must stay with the bomb. There ain't no nigga taking no bomb, no goddamn breaks and stay with it. Come on, man. That nigga been lost the bomb and forgot where he put it at. Come on, where the bomb at? Oh, shit. That's a white woman making that. I, I just want you to know so don't nobody write no fucking letter. That's a white woman like that. <laughs> you motherfuckers go to work money and all y'all got letters. The <laughs> boy, I don't think you from around here. I said, I show sure say. But why is you walking these streets as free and just as happy as you can be, boy? I just don't know. I just got lost and I down here. I'm looking for somebody I could know so I can leave. And I'm telling you right now, I don't I think you're a little suspicious. Don't you drive up out of here? I said, drive some. I just never drive. I skip everywhere as I go. I like to keep white folks happy, yeah? Need no trouble in my life. You know what I mean? That's the way woman means we're gonna make some money. <laughs> right, you need to laugh too, white woman. Why you ain't laughing? You gonna drink that Bud Light. That's the only time they sell Bud Light when white folks come in. That shit tastes like motherfucking cardboard. Liquid cardboard. You can't give a nigga a Bud Light. He think you talking about his mother. Hey, here, Bud Light. Now I'll put you in your mother's face. They laughed at all the niggas. They ain't laughed too much about that race joke, man. They wasn't feeling that. I ain't worried about them writing no letter. They ain't from here anyway. I'm worried about him. I got a long table for the white folk. I think they in here studying us. This must be some kind of study committee. Sample cultures and shit. You know, with little swabs. They want like to. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a whole table full of. Y'all come in peace? Comedy is a, a, a full contact sport, as far as I'm concerned. You have to go through so many changes. Uh, because you have to keep up with the times, you got to figure out what your style is. And I'm not even quite sure to this day what my style is. My style, I, if I had to pinpoint something, it would be, you know, in your face. I got a little cute little Chinese girl too, goddamn. How you doing, little Chinese girl? I'm watching you, man. I'm watching you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? 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 Hey
getting them. Whoa, you're not? What are you waiting from? Oh, shit. Go boat girl. Go boat girl. You know, I ain't been done in a long time. I ain't been done in a long time. Don't me. Y'all food look much more spicy than Chinese food. Y'all motherfuckers got a little delicacy for the dog, too. You come around and let your dog run past her. He's a goner and show his day in long. I had a pit bull, right? No Chinese man lived next door. My pit bull wouldn't go that way. He a mean motherfucker. He'll fuck you up, but he wouldn't fuck with that little Chinese man. No Chinese man always trying to pet him too. How old he is? How old he is? Don't worry about how the fuck old he is. You ain't cooking my dog, you're not fucking with my dog. I don't know how y'all get that meat that tender. I've been, <laughs> I've been eating black folk food for years. I've never tasted no meat that tender. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's got, that got to be squirrel or something. <laughs> I'll probably turn into a, a storyteller. Uh, which is uh, the forte. So I actually don't have, you know, solid jokes. Um, majority of my material was created on stage. Uh, something I say that I liked, that just came out that I liked, and I kept it. And you're gonna say to yourself, I did not know my girl could cook chickens. <laughs> and then it dawns on you, that is not chickens. <laughs> I think somebody has shit it in the living room. And that NG here, you home? Yes, I'm home. I, I think somebody has shit in the room. I'm in the bathroom, you simple ass. You cannot believe it. You cannot believe this fine ass woman you are sitting with right now could smell this fucking rain. It got you saying words you've never said before. Great Scots. For the love of Allah, who in that hell? Okay, if that's what you like, one day she gonna decide to wear her real hair. She gonna tell you her hairline and receive it like a grown man's brain. Put her shit back in. <laughs> and she's still trying to wear a ponytail. <laughs> so she got this little Chinese little real patch. Just... She ain't got no hair on the side. All this, all, all that gone. That gone. She's still trying to put a little Vaseline on the side. Trying to make it grow, you know. Trying to put a little Vaseline on, trying to lay it down, you know. That girl. Oh, she had to do. She, she twitching her hand. You can't twist your hand. She growling at the dick, you know. You know, you push your hand, but hey, don't move. You my son, mama. Don't do that. 